people of the internet, my name is Sizzling and welcome back to my channel. So happy Scorpio season everyone and today of course it is time for my monthly zodiac inspired drawing. And this month is of course Scorpio. Now this one is really different from last month's drawing and you know pretty much different from any of the other drawings that I did over the past four months. Just because it's a lot more colorful and while Libra was all about perfectly balanced colors and unified color scheme, this is a little bit all over the place but in a good way in my opinion. By the way, the first minute or so of this is me drawing the first version of this drawing, but then I decided that I don't like it. I don't like the composition and the head looks too big, so I changed it up and I think that the change worked out way better than my original idea would have worked. So yeah, let's start with the fact that Scorpio is a water sign. And while I didn't necessarily incorporate the elements of the signs as much up until now, well, at least not literally, I really felt like this needed some balance between all the red that is associated with Scorpio sign. And also the stone is topaz, which usually comes in red, yellow, and blue. But we'll get to topaz later. Let's talk about water and probably the greatest thing that I've ever... <laughs> did in the drawing. Like, not the greatest thing, because I've drawn many great things in my opinion, but one of the best ideas that I've ever had, one of the most creative ideas. I wanted to have this person, you know, girl thing, have bright hair that would stand out, because the combination of red and blue is one of my favorites. I love how contrasting it is. So I was like, hey, there's lots of red in this picture, because the color associated with Scorpio is red, and burgundy, and crimson, and whatnot. But Scorpio is also water sign, so it's not like a fiery red. Red, and I wanted to accentuate that. So our brain was like, hey, what color is water usually depicted as? And the answer is blue. And so I was like, hey, why not make this girl have hair made out of water? And that's one of the coolest fantasy concepts that I've ever had. If you know me, you know that I love fantasy in general. Fantasy is my favorite genre of media in any sense, you know, whether it would be a drawing, poetry, literature, photography, cosplay, movies, TV shows, fantasy is superior. I love it so much. So drawing hair that was made out of water was both instinctive and challenging at the same time. It is my favorite part, but we'll get to that later. Let's talk about Scorpio in general. Scorpio is emotional. Scorpio is all over the place, you know, like Scorpio is a lot and I wanted this drawing to be a little bit more vivid than the subdued Libra picture that I did or even the Leo one, which was bright, but it was not like in your face. And I feel like this is significantly different in how how it looks overall because you have blue and red that contrast each other wildly then you have a little bits of yellow and even green in the topaz claws that come out uh, at the top and those were originally supposed to be just like clusters of topaz even though I know that it's not that type of crystal like it's not a crystal I think when you google topaz you just find like rounded polished stones but then I was like hey Scorpio is that creature that you know like I forgot how it's actually called like that family of animals that have the claws and then the tail. So those are supposed to look like they're made out of topaz. I think I rendered the hair better than I did those, but I mean, the hair in this picture is my pride and joy. I've always loved painting hair, various hair textures. I especially love painting curly hair, but wavy hair, I think, fits the best for this water look. And especially when you zoom in on all the little strands and all the reflections, it really looks stunning because water is so much fun to draw. Like I said, it's both challenging and intuitive because it is just essentially a very reflective blob of transparent material. In the real world, water is usually, well, just transparent unless you have like large volumes of it. But you know, for the sake of the fantasy and ethereal look of this, I chose to make it bright blue. And to me, it's just so beautiful to see bright blue, like Caribbean blue water. It's one of my two favorite colors and it was just such a pleasure to paint with all the little reflections disguised as hair strands and hair strands disguised as reflections. I think this is genuinely such a cool idea that I don't see people do enough. I don't really see hair painted to look like water and I definitely want to do it again sometime. I wanted to make the eyes red for that, you know, a little bit of mischief. And while all my other drawings in the series have been pretty much with a neutral expression, I definitely wanted to give this one an expression because nothing about Scorpios 
is timid or reserved, you know? And I'm a Scorpio moon, so like, <laughs> I know that my feelings, my emotions, who I am inside is a lot. I am the most emotional person I know, both in good ways and in bad ways. Like, I will squeal with excitement shamelessly, but also I will cry, you know? And I know that Scorpio is a lot more than just about that, but that's definitely a Scorpio trait that I resonate with. And then, of course, the flowers that are associated with the Scorpio sign are chrysanthemums. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Most of the flower names I've heard in Lithuanian, and like, I understand what they mean, but I have no idea how to pronounce them in English. Anyway, chrysanthemums come in all sorts of colors. I mostly saw them in warm colors, like yellow, pastel, pink, but they also come in red, the sort of like reds with orange tips, so like, that's what I tried to emulate with painting these flowers, and this time I made the smartest decision that I've made so far in this series, is to draw flowers on one side, and then just copy and mirror paste to the other side, which saved me a lot of time and a lot of nerves, because you know that I struggle with drawing flowers, not necessarily struggle, but it gets annoying when you have to draw a thousand little leaves on a flower, and then you have to do it four times, it's like, can I move on to something more interesting, you know? And then of course the ruling planet of Scorpio is Pluto, which was also incredibly fitting into this color palette, because I think earlier this year an image of Pluto was released that had some beautiful crimson surface markings on it, whereas, you know, like, all the pictures of Pluto that I used to see as a kid were just gray, and now it's like, ooh, it's suddenly colorful and pretty. So I used that photo for reference, because it even had some little bits of blue in there, so I was like, yes, this is perfect for the color palette that I'm going for. So yeah, this was definitely enjoyable to draw. Like I said, I most enjoy the drawing the hair. What do you guys think about this drawing? Leave a comment down below, and also if you would like to get a print of this, I will have it on Redbubble. You can get stickers, stationery, notebooks, t-shirts, or decorative items if you wish. And if you don't want that, you can also check out my Patreon page, and if you're interested in supporting me beyond watching my videos, which of course is not necessary, I appreciate every single view and every single like and every single comment that I get, and it means the world to me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I definitely enjoyed making it, and I will see you next month around the same time for a Sagittarius season, I'm really excited. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time, I love you guys, bye! I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see we can be true, we can be true. I want you to see what I see in us, something so real, something so real. I want you to see that. This is a love that we both feel